Alright guys welcome back and in this video I want to start with something known as semantic versioning in npm. So whenever you install a package from npm for example request what you're gonna see is that um, okay <laughs> let's just pick a better package for example react why not. So what you're gonna see is that every package you see is in the form of some number dot some number dot some number. There would be always three numbers right and there would be always two dots for every package you cannot see a package with uh number 1.3 right it does not exist on npm why because npm follows semantic versioning of package what is semantic versioning semantic versioning is a standard to you know it has some guidelines to version your package how it works is that you have to follow this sort of notation major dot minor dot patch so the first number is your major number that is 16 is the react 16 version then dot minor is the minor version that is 13 and the patch is the patched version that is one in this case now we can easily see that what semantic guide semi, semantic guidelines uh, tell us is that major version should be changed when there is an incompatible api change that is if you update to that particular version you have to make some sort of changes in your old code as a, as a developer who is using that package, right? So, for example, if I update to React 17, I should expect that my existing code base in React could be broken, right? It's not required that it would be broken. It could be broken if, uh, you know, if React has updated that particular thing which I was using. Semantic versioning uh, means that if you're if you're making use of a major upgrade, just make sure you update your package uh, to a major version, to a different major version. Similarly, there's a minor version, uh, which uh, you know they just say that if you add a backwards compatible functionality, for example, if React added a new feature, what it could do is that it could just go ahead and up include that in a minor version, right? So even though if I update it to the minor version it won't uh, affect me effectively because that is just a feature which is being added and I'm not using it really. It just says that patch version should be used when you're making a bug fix which is backward compatible as well. So you know there's a difference between patch and major that is if a bug fix is or maybe if a new feature is incompatible with the previous versions you have to make a major version upgrade otherwise my minor and patch will work just fine. Now with that being said, you don't have to really read this whole document. I just opened the site for just for a little bit of fun. That being said, just forget about semantic versioning at all, right? Because NPM follows semantic versioning, but no other developer on the planet does. So effectively, it does not make sense to actually stick to semantic versioning. You should know, however, that a lot of packages do follow. I'm not sure about React. React earlier did not follow uh, semantic versioning, but I'm not sure now if they're following it or not. I think they are because they do not really introduce any breaking ch changes in the patch version as well. So yeah, definitely they are following. But the idea is that semantic versioning is the most abused thing on NPM. That is no developer on the planet follows it effectively. That means that it is very much possible that there might be breaking changes in patch version update as well so it is very much possible that you you are installing a package for example if that package is 16.13.1 it is very much possible that the developer goes crazy and he updates the package to 16.14.1 however there is a breaking change in the api so you might update thinking about semantic versioning guidelines and you might think that mm, okay if it is 16.14 it should not have a breaking version, right? Because NPM follows semantic versioning and all that yada yada stuff. But the truth is that NPM does not enforce it. It cannot check that, uh, you know, it has breaking compatibility or not. So developers, you know, uh, they do not know about semantic versioning. They just think that this is some sort of joke <laughs> or whatever. So they just, you know, just go ahead and use any version they like. So, yeah, I mean, it's a pain, but that's 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 basically the idea and that is one of the reasons why there exists a file called package lock.json which we'll discuss just after the semantic versioning because i wanted to uh you know just make a build up why that file was needed in the first place 
so yeah yeah that's that's basically it for this video and uh, that's how semantic versioning works and that's how you should never really rely on packages using semantic versioning because nobody follows it but anyway you should know about that so that's all for this video i'm gonna see you in the next one really quick